All right, today we're at Garfish Crow's Nest with head chef Tim Wesley. He's going to show us one of his winter signature dishes. Um, so Tim, what dish are you going to show us today? Uh, we're going to do a cured ocean trout with a scallop mousse and nori wrapped in a phyllo pastry and baked in the oven with served with uh, spinach and bird long. Well, that sounds very technical. But what we're going to show you today is how to cure the trout, how to make the mousse, and Tim's going to put it together. Okay, okay so what we've got here, we've got a, uh, a cure mix made of uh, cardamom, fennel, cumin, and coriander seeds, and nigella seeds mixed with salt. We warm the spices through first, then we add the salt uh, to impart some flavour into so the salt. What sort of salt, salt do you use, Tim? We use sea salt. Just, just a coarse sea yeah, salt. Yeah, coarse sea salt. And uh, a little bit of sugar. And the ratio we work on is around 8% of pure mix to the trout. So with the trout, what have you done to the trout to prepare it for curing? All I've done is trim the fillet, yeah. take it some of the belly off, pit bone it, yeah. and uh, that's pretty much all we do. And you're leaving the skin on? Leaving the skin on. Why, why are you leaving the skin on? Well, it helps to uh, hold all that salt in. We uh, basically want it. We're doing a light cure, so we're just yeah. doing from the flesh side down. Well, after we've cured the trout, we'll skin it then, and uh, we can obviously use the skin for something else. Okay, so all right. So we're just going to pretty much. Did you say how long you're going to cure it? We're going to cure it for six hours. Six hours. So that's Which a pretty is, light it's, time. It's a light cure. Yeah. Just going to impart those sort of flavours into the flesh itself. So you've got nice good coverage. What we're going to do now is going to make a very simple scallop mousse. We've got 500 grams of uh, half day scallops with the row off. A chilled robo cook to keep it nice and cool. And also the uh, blending the coagulation of the cream. It's very important to have everything as cold as possible in this recipe. Because as we add cream, uh, the cream is very susceptible to breaking, or splitting I should say. Right. Okay, we're going to fill the, uh, the nori roll now. We've got one sheet of filo pastry that we've folded in half. We have a nori sheet that was cut in half, left right, so it's one piece. A piece of the cured trout, and some scallop mousse. So, we fill half the nori roll, nori sheet with uh, the scallop mousse. We have our... Um, Trout the place just towards the back of that. We just roll it over to cover the trout that's around all the way around, so it's twist all the way around. That's some clarified butter we butt the uh, filo pastry with. No rolls. That's it. So once you've done the cure, the mousse, it's it's relatively simple to put together. Oh, it is. You just have to keep those phyllo sheets quite um, moist as you're working with them. That's right, they dry out, they become very, very brittle. That's our roll. Okay, here we've got the trout. We've uh, baked this for three minutes on each side, six minutes in total. Uh, we're serving with a little bit of English spinach. And this spinach has just been uh, blanched in salted water and then squeezed. The, the water's squeezed out of it and it's presented in the plate like that. And it's served with a, with a lime beurre blanc, which is essentially a reduction of lime juice, aromatics, finished with butter. Goes beautifully, marries beautifully with the scallop mousse and the cured ocean trout. And we're just finishing the sauce with a little bit of salmon roe to again give a punchy, punchy flavour and the lemon juice just serves to cut and bring all those uh, fairly round flavours together. Just the top and tail of the roll. When you're cutting through this, make sure that the knife do the work. I'll try and push it through. Yes, it's quite delicate. So there we go. Now 
And there we have it. See the scallop mousse is just beautifully cooked. The trout, the ocean trout remains its integrity and it's got the beautiful texture of the phyllo and the nori holds it together and also continues, uh, it also adds to the, the overall flavour of the dish.